What's going on guys? Welcome back to Core Reacts. This time I'm going to be reacting to a World of Warcraft video. Specifically the trailer for the new expansion, Dragonflight. Now I've had a love-hate relationship with WoW for quite some time. I played a lot back when it first came out. The original Vanilla, Burning Crusade, Wrath of Lich King. And I kind of played off and on throughout the rest of the expansions. I had always come to an expansion at least to go through the storyline, except for the last one. I did not play Shadowlands. I know nothing about the lore that happened in Shadowlands. Uh, so maybe there will be a disconnect with what's happening in this video, but either way, I'm excited to see, uh, this trailer. I've heard a lot of positive things from WoW players. I still watch a few on Twitch and things like that, so I'm excited to see, you know, what connections they will have with old lore and if it's going to be something that I'm going to maybe play in the future. Before we get into the video, I would really appreciate if you guys could scroll down and double check that you've clicked that subscribe button. A lot of people mean to subscribe, but they end up watching the video and forgetting, so it would mean a lot if you could double check. Let's get into it. Ominous orchestral music. It's Dragonflight. I'm assuming it has to do with all of the Dragonflights. I don't even really remember what happened. Didn't Alex Straza like die or something? Guess not. Because it's literally her voice. We must go to its aid. Ah, this could be like a look historical look back at you. It's saying the world's been sundered. This, if this is what the zones look like, this Let is absolutely gorgeous. That's been a problem with some of the wows in the past. Just like the zones are just ugly and I don't want to play in them. You will but this is, this is cool. In the waking of the land. Then you must light the beacon of tear hold. Lest the path home be lost to us forever. I just realized I, I know so little about WoW lore. Like, are these the Watchers the same ones you find on Azeroth, like, regularly? Okay, so it's a future jump. Alex Straza could be dead, if I remember correctly. Damn, his buddy's dead. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking the lava sundered mountain thing. Where are the forests and mountains that I saw before? Dang, another dead buddy. Oh, is King's dead too? Is he the only guy left? It's hard to think that a stone being could have 
kind of like decision making and sacrifice. Like usually they just are like kind of programmed to do one thing through magic, you know? Okay, no, that's Alex Straza, so she's not dead. I'm crazy. Oh good, it's not it's not volcanoes anymore. The world is healing. But her fate is yet uncertain. I'm excited for this expansion just off of these zones alone. Together, like just how this you know, map, again. this area looks. Here, the new age of dragons shall begin. Okay, I'm not quite sure how that ties in the lore, but it looks good. I have watched a few YouTuber videos on some of the changes that they're creating. There's a new class called Evoker that you play as a dragon. Like, you can play dragons, like walking dragons in this expansion. I don't know how I feel about that. I I was, like, super anti-Pandaren when they came out, but I, they ended up being fine. Um, so, maybe I'll feel the same way about the... I think they're called Drekthir. And I don't know anything about the Evoker class, so I'm not even going to speak on that. But, I mean, I will honestly pick this up. I'm curious if I have to go through the Shadowlands storyline to, like, make the connection with what's happening here. But we'll see. Let me know what you guys think. Are you guys going to try a Wild Dragonflight? And if so, are you going to be playing the new Evoker class and the new, the new Dragon race? Make sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.